So here it is, the Speedy Recovery DLC. I am super excited. So as you can see here, Speedy Recovery is where we compete with rival hospitals to respond to emergencies with your ambulances. It is installed and it's unlocked after you one star on Flemington, but it is recommended that you one star Duckworth upon Bilge. And that I found hard to do, but I did it and I eventually did it in style, even if I do say so myself. And you'll find the video on how I did that without taking out any loans and ending up many hundreds of thousands of dollars in credit up in the corner here. So click on that if you're interested to see how I managed it. Let's jump in and start speedy recovery. I keep seeing people speeding and running red lights. Do not even try to hide it with those flashing lights and loud noises. When will the authorities do something about it? Somebody could get hurt. Dear hospital administrator, well, hey there. I don't suppose you've heard of little old me. Pit crew mechanic, we don't usually make headlines, but I've heard of you and I think we could help each other out. You see, with the weather being how it is lately, I've been seeing all these boring so-called ambulances driving the streets and I can't help but think I could make something more exciting and dynamic. You know, really mix up the whole emergency response scene. All I need is some wheels, some engine oil and a dream. Oh right, and a hospital so the patients have somewhere to go. That's your department. So here's the deal. You run the hospital and I build you a fleet of the best ambulances you've ever seen. Deal? Gretchen, gearbox. Ah, Gretchen, I think you've got yourself a deal. As you can see, my last hospital was Duckworth upon Bilge. And I was not lying when I said earlier I was, I'd was one starred it with over $700,000 in the black. Make sure you watch the video if you're interested to see how I did that without any loans. I think here is where we start. This has an ambulance on it. What a great place to start. Ailing, learn the basics of emergency response in the big city. Let's start here. The city is suffering from adverse weather conditions, which is causing all sorts of emergency situations. In addition to those caused by the general clumsiness of Two Point County residents. First, let's build an ambulance. Click on the ambulance bay in front of the hospital to build an ambulance. Compliant Colin! <laughs> Chipper cheerful, well one of those. Moderate speed, low durability, moderate capacity, moderate diagnosis, unsafe cornering. Assign an ambulance to an emergency. Your new compliant Colin ambulance is ready to roll. Click on the sat nav icon to bring up the emergency map. So that must be the one that's circled in red with a big red arrow pointing to it, Mama. My first emergency, Macbeth Towers. Let's go, Colin. We'll assign Colin to that emergency. Off he goes. Oh, he's off. Colin's off. Let's follow, is he like a Robin Reliant in three wheels? Doctors, oh he's gone. Doctors and nurses with driving qualifications are needed to staff your ambulances. So this with the steering wheel allows a doctor or nurse to drive a road ambulance. Cloud computing. You can now build cloud computing to treat under the weather patients. You're not the only hospital responding to emergencies in town. Holistics and Bungle Tech both have their own ambulance stations, which you'll be competing with from now on. You need a doctor and it cures patients who are under the weather. Applies treatment when where the sun don't shine. Assign an ambulance to an emergency. Your ambulance is arriving back at the hospital. The patients you collected have had some diagnosis already thanks to your staff and equipment on board the ambulance. They don't need to go to reception or a GP office. Ambulances will need Gretchen to perform maintenance once they've driven far enough. This room can accommodate additional treatment machines and staff to help process patients more quickly. Let's just build our hospital first, I think. So do we have more emergencies? We do. So we could send... Oh, look, it's going to go. Go, go, Colin. Can you get there? Oh, it's going to be close. 
Right, okay, so I've built the basics in here. We've got a ward, toilets, general practice, pharmacy, staff room, and cardiology. But now it's telling me here that I need to place three Collins, so we need more Collins. So let's get one more. That's two, three. I can assign multiple ambulances to the same emergency, but we need doctors or nurses in there that can actually drive, I believe. So Lance, you're hired, and then we'll go after some emergencies. So here, this is Socky Sausages. Go. It's gonna take him 39 seconds, go. We can send two, it says three. All right, oh, go. This is where there is a critical mass of local residents simultaneously attempting barbecues has caused a quantum luck singularity resulting in a sudden and severe outbreak of under the weather and other illnesses. Now I think, does this mean that Holistics have picked up two people, Bungle Tech have picked up four? We've got two deaths. How's this Colin gonna cope with it? Live, at risk, dying, dead. <laughs> Collected, only accessible by road, only accessible by air, interesting. Severity three, patients die more quickly at higher severity emergencies. Ambulance was, ambulances will always collect the patients most at risk of dying first. We've got an emergency coming in, here comes Colin, like his little Robin Reliant. With the old doctor, Dr. Francis, who's a bit chilly, you wanna get inside then mate. Although. He doesn't look too ill, does he? Can, they can walk out of... These guys can walk out of the ambulances. He's off to cardiology. He's off to general diagnosis. They can't be that ill. Where are the stretchers? Is he ever Colin? Look at this reversing. Oh, corners like he's on rails. Lance is off. Who's this then? Have we got all these doctors that can drive these cars or maybe they just we've got three doctors apparently that can do we automatically get them if we hire a Colin oh he's off again are they going back jolly good chaps right so we've got a huge queue here let's sort out what's going on in our rooms we need more nurses is what's going on so we'll hire you we need a nurse that can do the wards. Oh, look, you're quite um, qualified and cheaper. That'll do. Our doctors have discovered a new illness under the weather. Localised meteorological phenomena first discovered in Fran Healy. We'll send the patient for treatment in our cloud computing. Do Ursula, we do not have time for training at the moment. I, primarily because I don't have a room sorted out. Right, socket sausages. Oh, Colin might need some help there. That, Colin number one. This emergency down here. Lots of deaths. A few people with minor complaints at this location have promised they're not just trying to get a free lift from us. We'll send one Colin there. And the other one can go there. This one. Go. And I think when this Colin comes back, Gretchen will have to start work. Where's the doctor gone? There's only one person, but where is the doctor? I was out of Colin, of course, of course. How's the GP doing? The GP's doing remarkably well, actually. The nurse is the one struggling here. Do we want another general diagnosis? I'm thinking we need another cardiology, more importantly. There we go, guys. Let's get them some benches. We don't want them falling over with a heart attack. We achieved Matilda's challenge. Fabulous. Well done. Colin's are back. This Colin needs attention. Which Colin am I attending to? Not that one, this one. So Gretchen, come and sort them out. I'm loving it. I'm loving these little Collins. Off they go. Gretchen, come fix it. Is this Gretchen? This is Gretchen. Gretchen is a genius mechanic. 
It did a great job there, Gretchen. I love your style, love your work. Train driving. Gonna help the ambulances. Place three compliant Collins, we've done. Cure patients, we need under the weather patients. And collect a hundred emergencies to one star it. Foxbridge has sent us a handwritten note. He's not very happy about our hospital. You'll get over it, buddy. Cardiology is super busy in this hospital. Hurry up with your training. Gosh, you're taking ages, Billy. Get on with it. I know they're already training, Arthur, darling. Look, we've got driving going on. Bear with. My God, how many people are coming out of this ambulance? Our training's done. GG. Oh my gosh, let's check out this yearly review. How did we do, Arthur? Do tell. Rising star and employer of the year. Good grief. Ailing industrial estate, a team of warehouse workers were instructed to work overnight during a full moon against clear health and safety guidance. Many are now suffering from lycanthropy and other illnesses. Can't remember how that's addressed. I guess we'll find out soon enough. These guys have got under the... <laughs> I'm guessing they're suffering from under the weather. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, they're a bit chilly. I'm not surprised. <laughs> really want to get some marketing done as well. Oh, we've got the ambulances back. Gretchen, crack on, love. One of the Collins needs attention. What's going on here with all this water? He just expired. <laughs> ah, look at that. Dr. Foster. Oh, no, Ursula. She wants more money. Where you at, Ursula? On a break. Tell me about yourself, Ursula. What can you do? A driver. Fire. Have a little bit more money then. Just decided to stay. See what I mean? Money talks. Oh, we got fire! We got fire! Look at the cardiology queues. It's insane how busy this hospital is. Can we customize Collins? No. Can we upgrade them? I wonder if we can upgrade them. I see Laura moaning much. Just sits there getting on with it. We've got so many unhappy staff and customers, clients, whatever you want to call them. Ill people. She's staying while I'm happy for her. Ursula, you know what, Ursula? That's not the first time you've moaned about that. Matilda's unhappy. She's going to go. You can go, Matilda. You know what, love? I'm, I'm done with you guys moaning. Life is busy. Right, let's send out for some more people. Bad hair day. A rogue, unlicensed hairstylist has been operating in the area. It was only a matter of time before their lack of training in chemical product handling resulted in an explosion or worse. And now several customers are suffering from hairline fracture and other illnesses. Go! We'll send I two there. Attempted finding a hobby. Bird and over here we've got soggy yeah, sausages still. Fast. Right, go! Employer of the year by some miracle. Nurse Matilda, can we sack Matilda? She's getting on my nerves. Nurse Matilda, where are you at? She works in the ward. Do we have any other? We do have other word. Okay, she can go. She can go. And Nurse Matilda, she's a rising star, cured a patient, nice room. How's her diagnosis? She's diagnosed 36 patients, but only cured three. The diagnosis skill is very good. Her treatment skill, not so much, but she's fast. So maybe if we improve her treatment skill. How much does Matilda want? 16,000? I don't think so. She can leave. She can leave. If she's not happy with that, she can go. Oh, Matilda's staying after all. I've got my eyes on you, Matilda. I'm watching you. 
Matilda has resigned. Good riddance to Matilda. Goodbye. Ursula. Ursula. Wasn't she the moany one last time? Look, we need to cure one more patient with under the weather. And we've one starred it. Come on. Ursula. She's a driver, and her stamina doesn't drain too much. What's she on at the moment? 15,000. You're annoying me. No, I do not deal with threats. If we repay this loan, is that going to cause me a problem? Let's try it. Let's do it. Going to save us some money, I think. Ursula, stay in. Oh, well. All right, Ursula, if you feel you need to. I got your number now, love. I got your number. I think it's time for a marketing assistant. And she trains. You're hired. And we're going to build marketing. And we're going to launch a small campaign. Ursula. We used to get rid of Ursula. Ursula. Drives and stamina. We could train. We could train driving. Caleb. You're hired. Right. Where's Ursula? Ursula. Is an award. You're fired. She's gone. Did you mess with me, Ursula? That was one threat too many. There she goes. Ursula is off. Bye-bye, Ursula. Mood. Ah. Well, that's what you get. That is what you get, love. Mess with Mama S. One time too many. Goodbye. Do not let the door kick you on the way out. Under the weather, let's do it. Let's get the under the weather people in. Oh, I think we've done it. Look at that. We've what started. Happy days. Whoop, whoop. Now you say you have to collect patients from emergencies yourselves. Far be it from me to take care about your precious time and energy, but mark my words, if you give these layabouts an inch, they'll take a mile. Continue living life in the fast lane or check your mirrors and safely bring the vehicle to a stop before getting back to work. Yours fragrantly. Tarquin Foxbridge, High Health Minister. So there we go, people. We've unlocked Bet's Shore and Under the Weather poster. I have loved sending out those ambulances. I hope you're all out of the wind and rain that's battering the county, loyal listeners. I'm told emergency calls are through the roof right now. Or they would be if a studio still had a roof. Nice, you killed it back there in Ailing. Figuratively, I mean. The patients seem to come out of it mostly okay. Anyway, it looks like our innovations have perked up some ears and other organizations are trying their hand at this custom ambulance business. I don't want us playing catch up after such a strong start. So come with me to Bet Shore where Rose only half the story. I have some lofty ideas that will blow your mind and keep us in the race. Get it? Lofty, like high up. I mean, I'm designing a new air ambulance, Gretchen Gearbox. Let's check this one out. Here is Bet's Shore. An unusually persistent hurricane has struck this tourist hotspot. Let's see what this is about. Uncle Tech are here competing with you for patience again, but it's the Orb Foundation with their unique air ambulances you need to watch out for. Perhaps Gretchen can develop ambulances for you that can collect patients from places that don't have road access. Waxworks unlocked. Well, this is a fancy reception we've got built here. Lovely. Some emergencies can only be reached by road or by air. You'll need to develop air ambulances to be able to compete with the Orb Foundation for air emergencies. What's our staffing situation like? We have one doctor ooh, who can research and drive. This is good. We have a nurse that is diagnostics and can drive. We have an assistant who can train and we have Gretchen's. We're going to research the Relicopter. Oh, this is how we upgrade Compliant Colin. I was asking that earlier, how to upgrade him. You have to research it. We've got a Pantmobile. Gretchen believes clown cars have the potential to be the most capacious ambulances on the road. Big Healer. What's that coming over the hill? It's Gretchen's new ambulance idea. And the Relicopter. So this is what we need to start. 
That is how you upgrade them. You have to research it. So our doctor, Dr. Chloe's going there. Jolly good. So let's send out another ambulance. And the one that's left, Gretchen, sort out. Ooh, aircon, they're boiling hot. So this is the complete opposite to what we're used to. We've been adding radiators. Now we need aircon. So they work on the same principle then as the radiators. Warning! Seismic activity has been detected in the area. This could damage our machinery. Here it is. There's the earthquake. How did we do? Our first year. Not too bad. No deaths! Whoop, whoop! Waxworks. Ooh, we need waxworks. We need this. Right, can we build a waxworks? Pause a moment, please. Waxworks. That was at the bottom here. Four by four. We need a doctor in Waxworks. We don't have a doctor available. I'm tempted to get him. He's nasty. Does that matter? I'm going to send him anyway. Because he can train. And he's a surgeon. Research complete. Beautiful. So now we've got oh, only 30,000 spawn doodles for the helicopter. Moderate speed, moderate durability, low capacity. Right, let's save some money up for that then. Look at that, it looks like a loaf of bread. You're gonna stick your head in this machine. It's like one of those sandwich makers. Watch. In he goes. Put your head into the machine, please, sir. Get rid of the bees. Stick your head in. Splat. <gasps> we killed him. Da da da. He'd be dead. <laughs> It didn't work. I'm sorry. It was a pleasure knowing you. Goodbye. Oh no, my tummy hurts. I'm in so much pain. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Split. Hey, gone. Right, we could get a helicopter now. We've got nobody to fly it. Mamma mia, that's big. We need someone to fly. Let's try and fly in them. We're gonna have to have guest now. We could be smart about this. Get Dog Flood doing it, and then he could train others. That's what I think. Go, helicopter. Let's watch the helicopter go. I want to see this happen. They're getting in. <laughs> we have takeoff. And the helicopter is off. There it goes. Off to this yacht's a mess. Oh, it's landing. The helicopter is back. Well done. Good job. End of year approaching. You brought two people back, is that it? Go. Get back on it. Let's get another helicopter. We need hive mind patients. Two more patients with hive mind left to cure. One more helicopter, and we've got that one star. So it's just two more hive minds to go. Yay! There we go. We have achieved one star. I understand you have been investing in air ambulances. Indeed, I could think of no better time for that than the middle of a tropical storm. Please don't expect me to ride any of them. Continue 
braving the storm will come down to earth and get back to work. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin. And that has unlocked Pointy Pass and the Hive Mind poster. I was a young lad. We didn't have silly luxuries like paramedics or ambulances. Whenever I broke a leg, I would simply hop seven miles uphill in the snow to get a lollipop from the school nurse. Two if it was both legs. Dear hospital administrator. Hey partner, we're in the big leagues now, competing for all the marbles. This area is the emergency capital of the county and between them, Jumbo, Megacorp and Holistics have the patient transport market pretty much sewn up, especially since they started using their own custom ambulances. Where do you think they got that idea, huh? I want us to pull out all the stops and annihilate the competition. Show no mercy, take no prisoners, but take loads of patients and cure them. Let's finish first. Oh, also bring a scarf, Gretchen. The mountain is perilous at the best of times and this isn't the best of times. Holistics has now developed their own air ambulances to compete on two fronts while Jumbo Megacorp has seen what you and Gretchen have been doing with these ambulance innovations and wants their own piece of the pie. It's now time you ate all of that pie yourself. All of your admissions here will come from emergencies so you don't need to build a GP office or reception. Dispatching an ambulance to a rescue is better for your emergency reputation than a normal emergency. Victims at rescues are treated on site and your ambulance will return once they're safe. Is this our hospital then? We don't need a GP's office, but what sort of emergencies do we need? Who do we have staff-wise? Doctor that can fly, a nurse that can drive, no assistants and no janitors. Do we have helicopters and things? We have one helicopter, one car. All right, so that's a rescue. Let's go there. Let's just leave it at that because we're going to lose who we're losing. Who's the flying doctor? Alexa. So we need to build 10 ambulances. Cure eight patients with snow problem and collect 100 emergencies and complete powder room research. All right, so we need a research room. We happen to have a doctor that can research, which is handy. Powder room research. Uncover a cure for the snow problem. Who have we rescued here? Asquith Custard is off to the ward. Asquith is in the ward. In his snowsuit. Where's he going? There's no nurse in the ward. That's why, he's not, that's why he's not there. Marvin's on his way, Asquith. Don't worry, Asquith. Marvin is on his way. In you come, Asquith. Hello. Doctor to research, it's Betty Goes. You're not going to take your snowsuit off, buddy. Marvin's checking him in. Writing down his particulars. <laughs> Get him in his bed. Oh, well done, Marvin. Well done. You just rested your snowsuit. Are you fixed, buddy? No, he's off the general diagnosis. We still don't know what's wrong with Marvin. Let's send him for treatment anyway. Not Marvin, Asquith. Where's he going for treatment? Powder room. We don't have it. I have to go home, buddy, I'm afraid. Can't afford it. You want to promote three staff, Marvin? We can do that. Starting with you. Crafty. I see what he did there. How did we do in our first year? Not bad. Not bad at all. This is where I'm going to leave. Two Point Hospital Speedy DLC. I hope this video has given you some idea of what the DLC is about. Obviously, there's a similar theme throughout all of the DLCs. But I like the fact that they've mixed it up now with you sending Colin out or the helicopters. I like that touch a lot. As you progress through it, you'll realise that you have to be very selective as to who you send to what rescue or emergency because funding is difficult. I hope you like the video. 
If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so, and pop me some a note in the comments as to what you think to the game in general and whether you'll be playing Two Point Campus, which is due out in May 2022. And yes, I will be covering that, so make sure you're subbed to the channel so you don't miss my gameplay videos. If you like watching live streams, you can find me on YouTube and Twitch. I have a Facebook page and I hang around a fair bit in Twitter. I've popped the links to all of these socials in the description below or you can go to www.mamasgaming.co.uk until next time i wish you all a fabulous remainder of your day ciao for now